Good day, good day. A little late getting started today. Just needed a little rest. I don't know what those clouds over there are going to present. But I'm on the number 14, going from Chester over towards Windsor. I call this my road of thoughts. I like it because there's very little distraction and it's kind of a nice backdrop. Anyway, I woke up this morning and as is normal, well, I shouldn't say normal, but it happens quite often. These, I guess you could call them revelations, but just come to me fast. Sometimes I try to put them down on paper. Then other times I'll just save them because I think they're more appropriate for the road of thoughts. But the revelation this morning was exactly that, how the road and its foundation and the journey it provides is so much like your life. And there's roads I guess through our life that lead us everywhere. From the time we start school, you know, kindergarten, the road that the bus takes. All through those 12 years and maybe more advanced education for some people, there's many, many, many roads on that journey the roads to your first jobs, the roads in relationships, careers, starting families, where that takes you. Again, many, many roads. And a lot of times, the roads of desperation, despair. And I think as in life, when that road is new, there's a nice new clearing through the trees, a solid foundation built, good structure, and it goes somewhere. But over time, as in life, you know, it can erode. And there's a lot of band-aids, you know, trim the brush back, repaint the white lines, repaint the yellow line. Make it look good again. And it attracts a lot of attention. People say, it's a nice road. But do they really know what's under it? So I think after a while, no matter what you do, how much pavement you put on the top of it, how well you paint it, how well you dress it up, the foundation has to be dealt with. And that is life right there. So I thought about that towards my life, and it really was the perfect example. How things were put away and buried, and then everything was dressed up. And I traveled many, many, many roads. Camouflaged them up, dressed them up best I could, but the same as the well-traveled road, the foundation eventually broke. And I think that was probably around, uh, I finished it before 2010. And I wasn't about, you know, I tried, the, the big thing was, you know, that people, you can't sleep when you're going through a lot of despair. It was explained to me, you know, that your, your closet is full right to there. You can't see. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to open those doors and pick one thing out at a time. We're going to talk about it, fold it up neatly, put it back in. So it doesn't go away. It's just put back in neatly. And if you see what I'm saying, all those things in your life are taken out, ordered up, straightened away, and put back in. So it's not like they didn't happen. But what you learn in life is they are not you, they are what happened to you. And you put them back away. So I, probably 10 years of that, pretty solid 10 years. And I was fortunate enough to have this passion to travel these roads and to have these insights and to go deeper into my thoughts and to get a little more clarity. And, you know, you're going to call that, or I'll call it, you know, self-mining, getting down to the foundation, just getting in there. And it, my, my way is not the way of a lot of people because I exposed myself, put myself out there, very, very raw form of courage that I was told. But doing it enough, you don't worry anymore. You don't, you don't care because you're not doing it for that tree line, that tree line, that pavement. You're doing it for the foundation, for you. you. That's what you're doing it for. Don't forget that. Whatever you do, you're doing it for you. Lose sight of what people are going to think and how you're going to be judged. Those are the early stages because you feel you have to justify yourself. You have to tell people that they're going to, you know, they're going to look at you a certain way and question it. Just stop that. Just forget that and do it for you. Dig up the foundation, hammer it down, neaten it out, start building back up for you and nobody else because you do it for you then the benefits come for everybody else your family your friends you know the peace in your life so that foundation you know I, I think about it more and more all the time about how it gives you solid footing you're able to build a much better road to travel on you're able to focus on other things when your road is solid and through those years you know every type of medication was offered to me but I just it didn't work for me and it was it was something I just didn't want to do but eventually I had to give in a little bit and it was Zopoclone that I guess that allowed me to sleep and it's supposed to be short term but I ended up on that probably for seven years I took it and then I just eventually found that because I was traveling so much that I couldn't get it uh, where I was so then the panic of not being able to sleep so I started to wean myself off it trying to get control back for me so then it went to you know just things like melatonin and sleepies drugs over the you know the little gel things and I just kind of drowned myself in that stuff and then when we started the two vents to talk and this little YouTube channel and Frontier Adventures, I became so busy and so focused in it that I forget to buy the stuff. And I'd realize at the end of the night, oh, I didn't take my pill. And I said, oh, I'm just too tired to get up and go get it. I'm just gonna lay in bed as warm as comfortable and I'd go to sleep. So halfway through that trip, I didn't have anything with me, and I just slept so well at night, you know, in the tent. 
And, you know, I had a realization there. I said, I think I broke it. I think I broke the connection to having to have something. So, we've been home since August 28th, I think it is, and I haven't taken anything. I tried a couple of melatonin when I'm reading, but it didn't do anything. So, I thought, well, just do your routine and read at night, go to bed tired and sleep, shut your mind down, get up, have your coffee, play a little guitar, think about what you want to do today and where you're going to go with this venture and what road you're going to travel. And those pills are gone. And that happened on this trip. Another discovery that I got control back. And that makes me feel good. So, on the road of thoughts, the journey of discovery. discovered a little bit more.